guys, today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. This is a full drugstore look and I'm also using affordable brushes as well. Um, I really like this look. It's an intense eyeliner but everything else is really soft like the soft pink in the crease and the face is really soft as well but the eyeliner is very intense. It kind of comes in on the inner corners a little bit cat eye-ish. This is a little bit different for me because I rarely ever wear eyeliner but after I did this look I'm like eyeliner crazy. I love it. So I really really hope you guys enjoy this look and let me know in the comments what you think. So if you want to see how to get this look then just keep on watching. So I'm going to prime my eyelids as usual. I like primers like this that also work as a base because they cover up all those ugly little veins on my eyelids. And that was the LA Girl Pro Primer. I'm going to dip my finger into this white eyeshadow in the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette. I'm using my finger because the only eyeshadow I don't love in this palette is the white one. It's a little bit chalky so I like to use my finger. Then I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush from Delium Tools. I will link all the brushes down below as well. So I'm taking this fluffy crease brush from Delium Tools and I'm applying that pink color directly in the crease and I am putting this sucker everywhere. I want it very pink in my crease. Then I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush and I'm going to dip it into this cool tone brown. It's a light cool tone tannish taupey color and I'm going to start applying this on the outer V of my eye and bringing it into my crease. So I'm just packing it on the outer V and dragging it into the crease. This um, eyeshadow brush is really easy to do that since it's fluffy but flat at the same time. Going back into the Sonia Kashuk palette, I'm going to take this super taupey purplish kind of color. And on that same brush, I'm going to just do the exact same things. So on the outer V and then bring it into my crease. I'm using these two shades to kind of, you know, create some dimension. And so it, you know, has different colors if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm going to take this little trio from Wet n Wild, this is the Walking on Eggshells trio, and I'm mixing those two shades I was pointing at, and I'm going to apply this on the inner half of my lid using this e.l.f. brush, this is the $1 brush, and then I'm going to dip my fluffy brush again into the pink, and I'm just going to blend everything out. Sorry, I feel like I'm moving too fast. I'm going to dip that same e.l.f. brush into the white, um, really packing it into the white, and applying this to my brow bone as a highlight. I'm gonna take this darker brown in the palette. It's also very cool tone, but I'm applying this right at the outer V of my eye to create a darkness on the outer corners. This is just a darker brown than the other ones we were using. And then I'm gonna use my NYC liquid liner and I'm gonna apply a very thick wing. So what I like to do is I like to draw the line first and then do this and then fill it in. So I do that kind of wing first and then I start brushing little strokes in the inner corners just to connect everything and then um, yeah I got out of frame but all I did was fill in that part. Does that make sense? I really suck at eyeliner but I just did my typical wing. I go back and I fix it but I just did like a basic thick wing. Do whatever you guys want, you don't have to do that. So I prime my face with a luminous primer and then I'm going to mix these two foundations. This is the um, Maybelline Fit Me and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I like to mix these two because I have dry skin. So sometimes the Fit Me, the original, is a little bit too dewy, which I do love. But mixing it with the new Matte and Poreless creates a beautiful, like, natural satin finish. I love this combination. And I'm using a small stipple brush. Stipple? No. A small stipple brush from e.l.f. because you have to work in sections with the Matte and Poreless because it dries really, really fast. And then I realized I had no earrings on. Fail. So I'm just working in sections, and I love this brush. It gets in the nooks and crannies of everything. I don't know. I really like it. So that's what I'm doing. Then I'm going to add some concealer to my under eyes. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Natural. And then I'm going to highlight some more. So I'm using the Rimmel Conceal and Highlight little highlighter concealer thing. And I'm going to apply this all over my face to highlight my face as well. I'm going to use this brush from e.l.f. This is their tapered highlighter brush and I'm going to use that to blend it all in. I really love e.l.f. brushes. The Studio line is really affordable and really soft, like very soft. I love them. So I'm just blending that all in. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 135 Creamy Natural and I'm going to set 
my concealer on my face. But to set my under eye concealer, I'm using this e.l.f. under eye setting powder. I like it because it's like light reflecting. It reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. But it's $3 and not like a million. Then after that, I'm going to finish off my eyes. And I'm going to take that same liquid liner. And now I'm going to start uh, connecting this into the inner part of my eye. Does that make sense? I'm making like a little triangle right in the inner tear duct and usually I don't add eyeliner there but I think it creates like a sexy cat eye look as you can see right there so that is what I did and I feel like it ties the eyeliner together really nicely so then after that I'm gonna take some black eyeliner I have been loving this this is from NYX it's their like gel eyeliner in black it's new it's like their new eyeliner it's amazing guys it's super black look 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 so black I really love it I'm going to take this Equal Tools angled brush and I'm going to dip it into the black eyeshadow and I'm going to set the eyeliner, like bringing it really, 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 really close to my waterline and yeah, it's just going to intensify the eyeliner on the lower lash line. So after that, I applied mascara to my top and bottom lashes and then I went in with some Red Cherry 415 lashes. Just finish off the eye look, I'm going to dip this Morphe crease brush into that brown shade and I'm just gonna deepen up the outer corner like that like I'm just gonna apply it really softly right in the outer V kind of in the crease and I feel like it's just gonna add a little bit more dimension and finish off the eyes so then I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup just my face makeup I'm gonna take this NYX high definition blush in the shade taupe um, and I'm gonna use this to contour this is a elf what is this a powder brush from elf like a I think it's like a powder foundation brush and I love it for contouring because it's not too small but it's not too big this um, is a very ashy blush like a taupey color very ashy so perfect for contouring but just to warm up the skin a little bit not too much I'm gonna dip that same brush into my NYC Sun and Bronze bronzer in Montauk bronze it's just gonna warm it up a little bit because that taupe blush is like gray, like hella gray, like super, super ashy. So you do have to be a little bit careful. After that, I'm going to take this beautiful like tulip style brush from Delium Tools and I'm going to use this to apply my blush. This is the NYX High Definition Blush in Soft Spoken, I believe. I will leave all the information in the description box. It's a really pretty light peachy color. Love this blush. Then, of course, to highlight my... Um, Physician's Formula Shimmer Strip in Naturally Nude and I'm applying that with an e.l.f. blush brush to the tops of my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose and all that good stuff. Then I'm just going to do my lips. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Natural, I believe it's what it's called. And the reason I'm applying this lip liner is because the lipstick I'm going to put on top looks awful without a lip liner underneath because it settles into my lines really badly. None of the rest of those lipsticks in that line do, but that one kind of settles. But I love the color, so I have to put a lip liner underneath. And I'm using the Milani Moisture Matte Lipstick in Matte Innocence. So yeah guys, that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.